Here goes the criminal zoomer. They're waiting on the end of my block here until I exited the door. And then they started in. They just wait for me because they get their little bells. You know, like Pavlov's dog. They start to salivate. They start to salivate because they're like, oh, wow, we're so, they're so psychotic. They're so psychotic. They get a deep thrill out of harassing people who are doing absolutely nothing but trying to live their life. So actually, it's happened several times today. I've ignored it. I was too busy today. Too busy today to record it, but you can hear it in the background. They had sirens going in the background about a half an hour ago. I was in the outer field. They didn't have my phone with me. But, you know, it's Friday night, so they get their cheap thrills on a Friday night. You know, their cheap thrills are like driving down the county road looking for snakes to kill. I mean, we're talking about mindless morons. Okay? And, you know, I know that I'm not from the deep south. I'm not from the country. I grew up in the city. And then moved to the suburbs and have been living here five years. And I'll get along with anybody from any socioeconomic background, culture. If you're a good person, if you're a nice person, if you treat others with respect and you're kind. But I will call out every one of these morons for who they are. And they're actually despicable, disgusting. Oh, and you know, I wanted to mention, um, it's been mentioned before, you know, people say, who are involved, you know, in, in the stalking? And, you know, of course, it's a collaborative effort, you know, it's coll well, they're collaborate, it's a partnership, it's collaboration. I'm just closing my gate here. And basically, there are a lot of religious organizations that are involved. I mean, look at that woman, Micah Miller, who was offed by her husband. And yeah, I'm going to just say it. He was, she was offed by her husband. Maybe not him directly, but he hired somebody. He hired somebody. He put her in the gang stalking program. And he offed her. Or he had her offed, okay? Um, and what they do is... There are a lot of religious organizations that are involved. A lot of these alleged pastors, alleged ministers, um, you know, they, they do it a lot of times for a tax write-off and free money. You know, people are stupid. They, they go to these fake churches and listen to total garbage and donate money. It, it baffles the mind how stupid people are, how easily swayed, how easily convinced they are. There's no critical thinking skills going on. Do you hear my guineas? I mean, it's, it's past 9 p.m. All the chickens are in the coops, but not the guineas. No. They're like a bunch of bad teenagers. They don't want to, they want to go to bed at night. Last night, and this is why I'm so tired sometimes, too. It's like, I just want to get in the house and have dinner, have a cup of coffee. These birds didn't go into the coop until 10 p.m. last night. Or I should say they were mostly in the coop, except for three. And you can see, like, a whole bunch of them just moving around there. They're setting off the motion lights. Right? Look at them. One, two, three, four, five of them are still out. And it's dark. You can see it's dark. It's dark here. And they're not in the coop. But this is what it's like for me every day. So I just want to give a shout out to the person. And, and I don't know who you are. Um, I, I think it's the first time you've contacted me in the comments section. Uh, saying that you wanted to get together a YouTube channel for yourself. I think everybody should. But that you were considering doing some kind of a weekly 
TI talk show, whatever, and invited me to join in an hour a week on a Sunday night. Well, I'm really busy here, and as you can see, my birds are not in yet. They're right there. It's past 9 p.m. So I'm not going to be doing any kind of a, a talk show when I've got my animals running around here. And this is what my life is. I don't know what your life is like, but I have a bunch of animals here, and it's the summertime, and they're not going in until probably 10. And I actually, I see one of the baby guineas, so they're, they're corrupting the little baby over there. Um, and what was I going to say? So it's, it, and also, um, I did for two years moderate one of those TI calls. Um, it was the Chief Damon Jones Wednesday night conference call. I did it for two years. There was no pay involved. I would be on the call from, I think it was like, when did it start? It started at 8, 8 p.m. until 1 p.m., 1 a.m., I should say, and sometimes even later. And, I mean, he was rarely on the call. You know, he'd come on for his 20 minutes and then split, and I would take over the call for the rest of the time and then create a mailing list and compile all the URLs and discussions that we had that evening. And this is how I became involved more in the community and also in researching what is happening to us because each week, you know, I wanted to have a topic and sometimes I'd have guest speakers. So Janet Phelan, I asked Janet Phelan to be a guest speaker. Uh, um, Karen Stewart was a guest speaker. Um, there was another guest speaker who... Um, I'm forgetting her name now. Uh, she was a no-show. There were people that were no-shows and stuff. Um, Brian, too, would come onto the call every once in a while and, and offer his wisdom about the program. And then people would always harass him. It was very annoying to me. And also, even though I was a moderator for the podcast every Wednesday night, for all that time, for two years... I was never able to, I was never given permission to have access to the main board. So I could never mute somebody that was harassing me or anybody else. I could never unmute people. I couldn't kick anybody off the call um, if they were a perpetrator. So I had no control over it. So sometimes these people would specifically call in just to harass I'm not going to deal with it. I have enough going on in my life here. Um, and I know that every targeting experience is different, but I'm just going to say that mine is totally off the charts. When I first came into the program, not the, not the program, into the community in March,